Hi everybody, this is Aisha with San Mateo Public Library and today I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of the Explora database service for grades K through 5. And there are two ways you can get to the Explora page, either through the library website's main page or you can go through the library catalog. And I'll show you how to get there from the website. Here we are. You will go to the menu at the top of the page to the kids and teens section. And then we want to look for youth services. So I'll click here. And here's our, um, here's a complete list of all the youth services, youth resources that um, are for research. So K, so Explora has different um, sites for different grade levels. And there's a six through eight and a nine through 12, but today we're gonna focus on the K through five. And so this is basically homework help that has um, articles from encyclopedias and magazines, newspaper articles. There are complete books included with Explora as well. And um, you, can, if you, you can use this service as long as you have a, a, any Peninsula Library System library card. And to get to the same place from the catalog page, here's the catalog main page, we'll go to the menu to get it online and we'll click through to articles and databases. And this is the collection of articles and database categories that San Mateo Public Library offers. And here's the youth resources. And it'll take us to the same place. And we'll scroll down to explore, to open Explore grades K through five. So here is the Explora main page with um, a slideshow that gets updated, I believe maybe um, on a monthly basis. At the very top of the page, there is a basic search bar that you can just type in any words that you wanna search for. And there's also an advanced search function where um, you can add more criteria or parameters to um, your search um, to, to limit your, the number of results you get. So you can have more control over your search that way. Or you can always browse the categories that they have here. And I think I will pick geography. So here's the geography page. And these are alphabetically listed in some um, categories, popular categories that they chose to highlight. And if I click on any of these alphabetical links, it, it's just a shortcut to that letter grouping, and I will pick California. And now you can see here is the list of results of everything they have that is related to California. And at the top here, you'll see California is already in the search bar. So if I had typed in California as a search on my own without clicking on the category, it would give me the same list of results, which is over 5,000 different um, articles, books, encyclopedia entries, and a combination of other things, which is a very long list. And most people don't have time to go through all of these things. So um, what you normally do when you're searching a database is you get the, the huge list of results and then you start to limit um, things, uh, to narrow things down to get closer to um, the specific information that you want. And over here on the left side is our refine, our tool for refining our results. So I can click on any of these um, source types here to basically get rid of the source types that I don't want. And I can just look through a smaller list of things that are closer to what I do want. Here, um, I can also limit it by Lexile range. So if I know the reading level that I'm looking for, um, we can cut out all the ones that um, aren't useful to us. And uh, we can just focus on the ones that, you know, if you're looking for a fifth grader, um, 
and you want to cut out all the stuff that's basic and meant for uh, younger kids, then you can limit it to a specific reading level range. So I think I want to look for books on California, since it's a much smaller number for the purpose of this demonstration. So it's going to update my results and it's going to cut out all these other thousands of different <laughs> listings. And now I only have nine different items to look through. And the California Gold, Gold Rush looks interesting. So I will, um, here it shows me the Lexile number, the basic information about this book. And it actually is a real book. It's just been um, included in this database. And here, if I click on this link, it's an HTML full text link. So we'll get all of the text from this book. Um, uh, something to remember though is in the HTML format, if um, it's if the book, original book includes pictures, you're not going to get the pictures from the HTML. It's just going to be the text. Also, um, there is a neat feature um, for audio narration. So if you have a student or a child who is more of an auditory learner and they need to, um, it would be helpful for uh, them to have a narrator to read the text. You can click on this feature and it starts to read. The California Gold Rush. Contents. One, history of California. Two, gold. Three, heading west. Okay, I'll pause it there. And as you can see, as the narrator reads it, um, the words that are being read are highlighted. So this is good for, um, it, it adds to the educational experience and it also helps uh, those readers who might need a little uh, extra assistance when looking at the screen and reading through this content. If you want to, so this is the, basically the whole, um, it's a lot to go through. If you want to go through, um, and then there's nine pages of this, so that's a lot to read. But um, if you don't have time to read it and you're still searching for other stuff and you want to save it and put it to the side. There are a bunch of tools over here to, uh, that you can use to do that with. So you can save to Google Drive. Um, you can save it directly to any Google Drive folder that you, that you like. Um, this feature for adding to a folder is, it means it's adding to a folder that's within the Explorer website. So you would only, you would have to come back to this site to access this particular, whatever folder that you put it in here. You can print it out um, if you need to have a print copy of it or if that makes for easier reading. You can email it to yourself or to anyone else and they get this exact content via email. You can save it to your hard drive or your device. You can, uh, there's a citation tool as well. If you, if uh, the, the assignment requires um, a citation to be added or an attribution so uh, that the teacher knows exactly where this information came from. You can export this um, content to uh, another location. You can create a note about it, but um, uh, keep in mind that this note is just within this site. Um, so you'd have to be here on the Explorer site to access any notes that you create using this feature. And then you can also use a, there's a permalink function if you want to upload a direct link to a, um, any type of presentation or any other, um, place that you want so that people can just click on the link and they they are led directly to this to this content instead of having to search for it on their own you can use the permalink function so we'll go back up to the top and we'll look at the advanced search page so you can see the features there so again since i click from that page it's automatically populated with california but if I wanted to narrow down my search to um, be more specific about something in California, like the Gold Rush or San Francisco or California mountains or anything like that, I could just type in those um, words in these boxes. And then instead of having 
over 5,000 uh, results, I would get a lot less because my search is starting out being more specific because I'm using um, more control over the search before I click search. And you can scroll down and you can also limit the search results by um, the date. So if you know that there's a particular uh, month or year that um, the information you're looking for was published in, you can use this. You can, here's the Lexile reading level limiter. So you can limit it to a specific reading level. So it'll um, cut out everything else. Uh, if you know the specific title, uh, the exact title of um, an article or something that you're looking for, you can type it in here. Um, or the name of the publication that you know, oh, I know this was in this certain magazine, but I can't remember or um, exactly what the title was. Uh, or I just want to search through information that I can find in this one uh, magazine or publication, you can just type it in here. And that is a basic run through of the Explora K through five site. Also, um, I'll add that at the very top here, there are, there's some more helpful information for of curriculum standards. It has a list you can browse. Um, so if you need more information on curriculum standards, you can click through and, and limit it here by state, by country, by state, and then the specific standard if you're looking for common core. And then you can limit it to subjects. And then it's going to go through 2010. And then here are even more subcategories that you can search for the curriculum standards. And that happened to open in another window. So I'll go back to where we were. You can see this also connects to other databases um, within um, the, so the vendor provides us with information to certain other databases. So you could, if you wanted to, you could use this function to search the other databases, but it, I find that it's easier to just use Explora because it's going to extract information from those other databases anyway. And then there's a page for specifically for educators. And so it has lots of um, information and tips on creating lesson plans, um, tools to use for students, and uh, more on curriculum standards and some external sites that have some um, useful content for teachers. And so that's pretty much the basics for Explora. If you have uh, more questions or if you would like um, an individual live demonstration, please contact the Children's Services team. And um, good luck to you guys in your school year and keep learning.